How's it going everybody? My name is Just Jared, but you can just call me Jared and welcome back to another Loot News video. Today I've got a quick Rocket League video for you guys and this one is hot off the press. Psyonix posted an update to their 2019 roadmap just yesterday and with it came updates on Rocket Pass 3, the upcoming Rocket Pass 4, and a tease at the new battle car coming with the Rocket Pass 4. Let's get into it. When Rocket Pass 2 ended some time ago, there was quite a long gap before Rocket Pass 3 started, leaving us car customization addicts quite anxious for the next pass to drop. Psyonix heard player feedback, and instead of ending Rocket Pass 3 next week as originally planned, they're going to extend it until Rocket Pass 4 begins. That way there's not a gap of time between passes where you're not earning new items when you level up. So Rocket Pass 3 has been extended and will last until August 27th, so one more month. Rocket Pass 4 will then be released the next day on August 28th. But do note that no new weekly challenges will be added to Rocket Pass 3, so the weekly challenges are in fact done. Also, when Rocket Pass 4 drops, the weekly challenges will be changed, so you'll no longer have a limit to finish the challenges each week. Basically, every single challenge of every single week will be able to be completed whenever you want. Psyonix said that they are looking forward to revealing all the rugged items in Rocket Pass 4 using the term rugged exactly. So it looks like we're going to see some rocky, tough terrain or machine inspired items this time around if you go by the actual definition of the word rugged. Not sure if the Rocket Passes before really ever had a theme per se. Rocket Pass 3 seemed to revolve a bit around space and aliens with the UFO toppers. The glitter paint finish kind of looks like stars. The Celestial, Ved Ava, Generator, and Visionary wheels all kind of have a UFO, space, alien, or solar system vibe to them, so maybe themes are kind of a thing in the Rocket Passes. Silex also said that if you want a glimpse at the next battle car for Rocket Pass 4, then to take a closer look at the Radical Summer announcement trailer, so I did, and this is what I found. About 21 seconds in, there's a green car to the right, and upon zooming in, you can easily tell, if you are an avid Rocket League player, that this car is definitely not in the game currently. We only get to see the back half of it, but it definitely has an off-road style body, which would make sense with the rugged theme. This is the only part of the trailer where this new battle car is featured, but there it is, the Rocket Pass 4 battle car. Now we can only hope it has the Octane hitbox for God's sake. Also, we have official confirmation that the Rocket League Halloween event, Haunted Hollows, is making its return for the third year, and Psyonix says they are preparing something wicked. I can't wait. Haunted Hollows has always been one of my personal favorite events, and if it's anything like Radical Summer and this new event layout they're doing with limited time game modes and stuff, it's going to be pretty huge. Lastly, Psyonix touched on competitive Season 11 ending on August 27th, with Season 12 starting the same day after the title update. Once we get a bit closer, they're going to reveal the Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond Champion, and Grand Champion rewards, so stay tuned to the channel for info on those when they drop. One more month to grind out those ranks. Personally, I've never been closer to hitting Champion than I am right now. I'm going to try to get there. Anyways, that does it for this quick Rocket League loot news video. Stay tuned to the channel for more Rocket League news on customization items and crates. Once we get more info on Rocket Pass 4 items and Season 11 rewards, I'll be making videos on those. I'll also leave the link to the Rocket League update roadmap down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But that's it for me. My name has been Just Jared, your one-stop shop for legendary loot news, no grind or limbs required. Like the video for better inventory management because Jesus Psyonix, we've waited long enough. And subscribe if you think purple is the best paint color. Screw titanium white. Until next time, happy looting.